Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to the Scrap Mechanic. Alright, uh, today I got this suggestion in the comments to build a drift car. So, we're gonna do that. First off, I'm gonna make it out of wood, just cause that's my favorite material, cause it's the lightest, except for cardboard, but cardboard's destructible, so that's no good. So, what we have to do, we gotta get the basic rectangular shape of our car, right? Then, we gotta make, uh, what I always do anyways, so I get a seat, and I get the engine, I've already got one in my hotbar here. So, I always make sure before I start building, that I've got room for both of these things, because without them, the whole thing's gonna go hay haywire, and I'll be trying to cram uh, things where there's no room for them. Okay, so first off, uh, I'm just gonna try to make this like I don't know, just a car. But then I'm gonna make I'm gonna make a bunch of steering glitches uh, so that it really, really drifts a lot. Uh, I need a wedge piece for some of the details and things. Okay, first off, let's get the, like, I already got the basic rectangle, but now I gotta get, like, the actual features of the car down. So, let's see. Wait, this needs to be bigger. Hold on. Let's expand you to about here. Then let's move the seat so that you're right here. Okay, this works. I uh, just need to get that done. Okay, I need this here to be like that. Okay, this is sort of starting to take shape. I still think it needs to be a little larger. Hold on. I'm gonna do a little more expanding. But I gotta keep it even so that I can set the seat in the middle. Keep that whole proportion correct. There. Okay. There. Alright, so now I think that from here it's as simple as just adding in some. Well, uh, first off, I'm gonna work my way on the just whole like looks of the car from the front to the back so that I get. Oh, so that I do everything in a certain order. Maybe what I could do, so I could make the front look a bit like a Porsche 911. Actually, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna make the front look kind of 911-y. There we go. Then what I gotta do is go around here. Kind of. I mean, that's sorta, kinda. Like a 9-11 a little bit, right? Not really, but whatever. Yeah, there we go. That's better. Oh, shoot, I made it too wide. Yeah, I'll just trim some of you off. There. Why is that broken? Okay. There. Now we'll call this my body shape. I'm gonna have to lower the engine one so that it actually fits under the hood. Right. Okay. Now. 
For this to look semi 911, we gotta put. If my mouse will work, we gotta put headlights, I think. Yeah. There we go. This doesn't look like a 911 at all. Uh, whatever. Okay, scratch the 911 thing. We'll just make it look like a car now. Okay, so then what we gotta do, you gotta cap the hood off. So, yeah, hold on, gotta scratch an itch. Yeah. Okay, so now we've got sort of our body shape. There we go. Now I'm gonna, I gotta make the, I don't know, like the side of the windshield, I guess, go up like that. Actually, this would probably look better if I, if I, uh, extended that out. That looks a bit better. Okay. Now we gotta get this over. Okay, this is not gonna be good. But you know what? I'm just gonna roll with it. Maybe later I'll go back and touch up the hood and put in some modded head headlights. Because, I mean, the ones that are just in the vanilla game look pretty crap, so I'll have to get different ones. So, I'm just gonna try to make the back of the car where the trunk would be. Sort of like that. Okay. There we go. Now you gotta pull the roof out. Okay, it's still not long enough. Is that better? Yeah, that's better. Well, wait, maybe we could make this like a hatchback. Ah. Uh, tilting the blocks so that they'll actually work is kind of annoying. Hold on, would this look terrible? No? Well, look that bad. There we go, now it's like a little Hatchback, I guess. Or, er, my head peeks through the roof a little bit, but that's okay. I can deal with that. Okay, next thing's next. Now you gotta get the wheel wells and put the actual wheels on. I think, yeah. Now, I'm not gonna put any, like, actual steering where the wheels turn. I'll show you in a second. I, I'm gonna do a suspension glitch that then allows me to uh, to turn more sharply than I ever could with well normal wheels. Oh, I guess it help or not wheels. I said normal wheels, but normal turning. It okay now it'd probably help if I had wheels on this car because you know that's how cars work. Uh, this one will probably be good. Does that look bad? Nah, that's fine. Okay, I'm gonna have to cover that up back there so that it's got a proper thing. Okay. Cool, cool. Now I just gotta do that a couple more times. Okay. Oh, 
wait, no. Yeah, gotta get my bearing, and then I can put on the wheel. Right, and last well. There we go. Gonna lower the suspension. Oh yeah. You got ourselves a low rider. Alright, I'm gonna make this real rear wheel drive. So gotta connect those bad boys wait, no. Gotta connect it up to the engine. There. Now in a little bit, I'll do some touching up and make it actually look better. I always like to keep the hood open so that I can have room to make changes and things to the power of it. Okay, now what I have to do. Uh, what do? Oh yeah, but I have to put the suspension glitch in. All right, so this is scrap mechanic 101 right here. Right, first off. Uh, I gotta get that. Hold on. Wait, one, two, three, four. Yeah. Okay, so, right, the way this works. Take a couple bearings. Take the suspension. Then you attach some blocks to the end of the suspension. Then what you do, you make those steering. And then now your tar car can turn. Alright, so, this thing's already pretty drifty. Let's, ah, let's ramp up the power and see if, oh yeah, there we go. Okay. This thing is not turning. Okay, there, it wasn't turning for a second. Okay, let's th see what this thing can do. Okay, well, I think what I should probably do is so I should make the suspension a little bit more resistant. So that, uh, no, not three, two, there. So that it actually functions and doesn't just collapse completely. Because... I mean, what use is suspension if it doesn't expand and contract, right? Okay. So, that's the outlines of our car, pretty much. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to... Shoot, I lost it. Now what we need to do is we need to put even more suspension glitches so that it'll be even more drifty. So you know what, I'm just gonna leave this flip. This is actually pretty convenient. Okay. So as per usual. So one, two, three, four. Do, 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 do. Two, three, four, yeah. There we go. Cause, you know, more suspension glitches, more turning, right? Probably put this onto a lift for this bit. There. Now. Oh, yeah. There we go. This is a lot better. Okay, now we have to put the tail lights. Uh, I think I can just put some of those in, and then I'll paint them red. Okay, okay. Right, but I'm not finished yet because this is kind of boring. It's just an everyday grocery getter hatchback. So. To make it complete, there's a couple more things we gotta do. First off, we gotta finish some details, like we gotta make things like that so that, you know, it actually looks like a car, sort of. 
then comes the fun part. Now you gotta paint it. Now what I'm gonna do here, so I'm gonna paint it, uh, first off I gotta cover this, yeah that's on full power. Okay, what I have to do is I have to paint it all black, and then I'm gonna put white, I can't speak, I'm gonna put white racing stripes on it, see how that, oh, I guess you can't really paint your headlights black, that doesn't work. I'll just make those white because, you know, that's cool. Okay, so I'm just going to paint all of this. There we go. Now, got to do that bit. Going to leave the tail lights red because they have to be. Now I need to paint all this. And give them some black rims. Got to paint in the wheel wells. Uh, let's see. I got to do all the other wheel wells too, I guess. Gotta paint the seat white. Oh. Uh, the suspension, of course. How could I forget? Okay. So, now you got this. That looks cool. Now we're gonna put a big white racing stripe down it. Yeah, that's cool. There we go. Wait. Yeah. No, uh. I'm gonna paint it black inside there, too. Oh, probably if I'm going there. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this is looking better. Okay, now, what I think I wanna do is I wanna put a spud gun turret somewhere, somehow. What I could do is I could do something like the tank, and if I can find room for it, and make it push out of the side. Wait, what if? What if, what if, what if? Okay, I'm gonna need to put it up on a lift. Okay, so what I, my idea, what if we've got, uh, what if we've got the guns right here, right? So then, there's some piss, wait, hold on. How am I gonna do this? Wait, I should probably paint the other side, so underside. Hold on, this will only take me a second. But how am I gonna? Why won't Why won't that paint? Hold on, I'm just gonna stick the lift right here instead. Push it up like that. It's not technically on the lift, but it works. And it allows me to paint. There we go. It's only a little bit broken. Okay. So we got our cool drift car, right? Wait. I'm repeating myself. I already said that I'm gonna... Uh, put the guns. Alright, so I think I know what I'm going to want to do. So what I'm going to do Hold on. There. Uh, what I'm going to do is I think if I can fit them, I'm going to stick the guns right here Then they're going to be popping up a little bit in the car, right? But then there's going to be pistons and I don't know if this will work. I might have to modify it to make it work, but so then there's going to be pistons that push it Put, that push the gun down and then there's gonna be another set that pushes it out so then you're just gonna be w driving by and it's like oh man this car can't be that good right but then all of a sudden but uh, there it is but all of a sudden some spud guns pop out of the side that'll be awesome just gotta figure out how I want to do it
Okay. The way I think I'm gonna do this is I'm just gonna go under. And I'm just gonna start. Crap. Uh, I'm just gonna start digging, so to speak. What's this doing? Maybe if I put it at the front end, it'll work better. Uh, either way, it's broken, but whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna. That didn't seem good, but okay. Uh, so what I gotta do? I gotta get out that piston. There we go. Can I not? Okay, fun. It's okay. I'll just make it so that there's one piston. It'll be good. Ah. Uh, everything's getting unpainted. Okay. Uh, I gotta get a paint gun again. I guess I'll just put it in the suspension slot. Okay, so then, what I gotta do is attach your sp You gotta be kidding me. Why won't it- Okay, I guess I'm just gonna have to stick the lift right here. Oh, that's broken. Okay, this, this is better. Thanks, game. Okay, so, what I'm gonna do- Right, so spud gun. That extends out one. I'm just gonna have to go. Wait, no. Hold on. Wait. I don't even have to make it extend down, do I? Like, hold on. I might have to dig a little bit deep. Wait, I just don't have space right there. Where am I gonna put this thing? Wait. What if in back over here I have a couple of pistons? Yeah, I'm gonna have to put it there. So I have a couple of pistons. Right. And then they have, uh, they've got blocks on top of them, right? I gotta paint this black. And then those blocks have guns. Right. Okay, you see where I'm going with this. So then these push out and up. So then I've got a little so then I've got a turret. So then it'll just like point around everywhere and I can shoot people. Okay. Okay, okay. I can see this working. Just gotta figure out how. Okay, first off I'm gonna have to put those there so that it has a way to swivel up and down. Right. And I gotta put this in, and I gotta put... Will it not let me... You gotta be kidding me, man. Okay, there, there, there. I was worried. Okay, so then next thing, next... I Wait, I'm gonna put it on a lift just to reset it. So that everything's sitting properly. Okay, then... I think I'm gonna have to put these on a controller. Yeah. Wait, hold on. We're having technical difficulties. Okay, so that has to. Hold on, so that swivels up and down. And then I need you to swivel side to side. You not. Yeah. Okay, there. There. Okay. And then this all is gonna have to be connected to a controller. Just gonna use the compact one from my mod pick or er, pack. Uh, I'm just gonna stick it like. Where am I gonna stick this thing? I guess I could. Yeah, I'll just stick it right there. That's temporary. I might move it. Or I, or maybe not. That's actually a good spot for it. Okay, so this. Okay, so I think these two. Are gonna have to be connected to separate controllers. So wait. So those two are on one controller. Hold on. 
this won't work because wait will it I've got to think about this so oh okay I'll just have to make it on a circuit so that it'll turn back and forth it'll take a second to aim but at least it'll work now Okay, so now, uh, the, the pistons, I've just got a, not a button, a switch. Uh, I'm just gonna make this, the switch. Oh man, there's no room. I was gonna make it like the handbrake. So then you pull it, but instead of braking, uh, you, uh, your car, the guns come up. That's not gonna work though. So instead, what I'll do, I'll just use a normal switch. Wait, can I not fit it inside? Oh, okay. If I can... There. There she goes. Okay, now... Connect that to you. If I can get it. That to you. And then... You to that and you to that so then in theory if I get in the car and press one then the whole thing's gonna break and not work okay that's fine with me I guess I need a bearing They're not a slash a bearing there okay and then you go on top there and then I have to connect you to the controller okay now if I press yeah there we go okay cool now it's just a matter of figuring out how the heck am I gonna get okay first off Let's start with up and down swiveling because I think that's going to be the hardest part. So, let's paint that because that's bugging me. Okay, so these are connected to this controller. I think the way I'm just going to do it is I'm going to have it so that it can turn full 360 in one direction. But then the circuit's going to make it have to turn 360 back in the other. No, actually... Actually, 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 let's only make it turn. Let's only make it turn uh, one, just a little over 180, so that it can turn around and shoot stuff that's behind you. That works, and then the same thing in negative, so that it's all balanced. And I gotta connect this to a button. She's this button. There we go. Then this will be connected to this as two. And then this controller. Uh, that's not right. Oh, I guess they're not going the right directions, are they? Okay, I guess they're kind of limited to turning 180, so I'll just tilt that back. If it'll do the thing. So now this can turn up. I think I'm going to make that a little bit slower so that it'll be usable. No, not one. Eh. Okay, I'm going to paint these because these are bugging me too. Okay, so it pops up. 
It can tilt around and shoot stuff behind it. Then it tilts back. Then it can pop back down. Okay. Now I need to work on tilting side to side. I think I'm just going to make it so that it tilts 90 degrees, then goes back 90 degrees, tilts 90 degrees, goes back 90 degrees. Wait, I never connected that to a switch. Ah, crap. Nah. Wrong thing. That's not right. Okay. See. You know, now that I'm at it, I could just use a racing seat, which is slimmer. And then I could fit the handbrake thing in. That'd be cool. Wait, did that? Uh, it released my other suspension glitch. Dang it, that sucks. I can get in the freaking thing to fix it. There. Okay, and that's gotta go there. Hold on, is this usable with just one suspension glitch? I think I tried it earlier and it wasn't quite as drifty. Well, that's got its fair share of drift to it. But it's not enough drift. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Alright, scrap mechanic lesson two. If you wanna flip something over, don't bother with fancy stuff with on lifts. Just try to hit it with a hammer. There you go. Now I need my suspension. There. I'll let that take the place of the spud guns. Okay, and then now this has to be reconnected. And then... In theory, you should be your old drifty self. Why are you reversing? Hello? You should not be reversing. Okay. I guess that was just a bug. I guess, I mean, this is an early access game. So there's gonna be a lot of stuff like that until it fully comes out. Oh. Crud, I forgot to reconnect the buttons. Uh, yeah, this connects to here, this connects to here. Oh, and now with the racing seat, now I've got room on the side for the handbrake button, or switch that I wanted to do. So that's cool. Wait. No, I guess I can't use the handbrake switch now. But what I can do... So I can make switches along the side that then connect to these controllers. Are you just not gonna work? I should probably. Oh, I gotta make it go 180 in the other direction. And then make it reverse 90. Now it should work. Uh, hello? There. Okay, that's tilt up and down.
Okay, that kind of sucks. What I'm gonna do instead... Is I'm gonna still keep this 90 degrees. But then I'm gonna have another... I'm gonna make it go 90 again. Uh, why are you 105? You're supposed to be 90. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like that. Right. Then it's gonna go over... 90 like that now again this instead of tilting side to side it will you have to kind of hold it down until it tilts in the direction that you want it to tilt there that works better now I just got to come up with the logic gate to make it actually shoot okay Uh, how the heck am I going to do this? Wait, I just had a better idea. Hold on, is that occupied by a suspension glitch? Oh, man, it is. That sucks. Uh, shoot, this video is already running long. Alright, I think I'll just keep it like this and then release, uh, make another video improving it. Okay, now... I'm going to make a logic gate to fire the guns. I need logic gate, logic gate. Okay, there. Now I need three of these guys. Uh, there we go. Need you all to be NAND. Then you connect into you, who connects into you. Then that creates an infinite circuit. Oh, uh, and then I can just plop in a button. Okay. Right, and then I need to connect a couple of these logic gates. So then... If I hit four, and it bursts. Ah. Now I can tilt it up, and I can tilt it side to side. So now I got this sick drift car that also has mountain sp mounted spot guns. No, I can just go around destroying. Oh, and I guess this thing would also make a pretty good rally car because of the, well, you know, just general things about it. Hold on, let's do some rally stuff and... You never saw that. Oh, let's just do some rally stuff and see if it works well for that. What I should do... Is I should build like a Mad Max car, uh, then mount spud guns and like what, like barbed wire, I guess, to it. And call that a video. Uh, okay, this is really uncomfortable. Ah, crap! It's really uncomfortable to have to hold the thing. So instead, I'm gonna toggle it. So I'm gonna get a button. No, a switch. Ha! Huh. I will get to use the handbrake thing. If I can... Ha! Huh. There we go. That's four. Wait, why are you five? Oh. You're still connected. No, that's the wrong thing. Right, uh, and you're connected into you. Yeah. Okay, so now it's a toggle. I should make an improved version that you can tilt left and right at will, and it's not just this whole shenanigan where it tilts back and forth. Okay, so I'm gonna save this 
as uh, spud gun drift hatchback. Okay, it won't let me type the full name, so whatever. Okay, so I'm gonna call this video uh, Q Cringy Minecraft Outro, I guess.